if it hadn't been for the T-scan, I, I would have never been cured. You know, there's only three things that we really treat. It's decay, which we probably over-treat. There's periodontal disease, which we treat a little bit, and then no one's even talking about occlusion. For those three items, we have 3D uh, imaging. That's great, but the other two diagnostics for perio and for occlusion, we have a notch stick, which is a perio probe, and we have bite paper. That little thing that you bite and slide and all that, no. That thing's worthless as far as I'm concerned. I think the standard of care for most of us is going to be bite paper or shim stock, bite registration, wax, occlude spray. All of those are really analog indicators of tooth contact. What T-Scan does is it actually measures the force in between the teeth that are occluding and timing. That's more information that's scientifically measured versus guessing and what we used to call chasing the blue dot, you know, of, of just that bite paper. There's a lot of data that if you don't have a T-scan, you're just missing and you're making treatment decisions without having a really good data set. And occlusion is something that's gonna affect everyone. You meet people in everyday life, you're out and you know, they've got a migraine or they can't eat certain foods, they can't do certain things that limit their life. You ready? People don't see your pain. So if Angela always has a headache, that's more like Angela's always irritating. My eye would weep because this is where my headaches would start. And that my jaw was three millimeters that way. And he got all that from the T-scan. You know, I mean, he wouldn't be able to see those things without it. Thanks for saving my life. It feels like everything's where it's supposed to be now. T-Scan has made a big difference for the practice. I feel like when people come in for, you know, just that single crown that's high, it takes like five minutes versus 45 minutes to make an adjustment. The biggest value that it has is in case finishing large cosmetic cases or reconstruction cases, the speed at which I can get the bite dialed in. And then the TMD work that I do, that I'm known for, you can't do those procedures without a computer that actually records time and force. I don't think any physician or dentist has x-ray eyes or, you know, things like, I mean, there has to be a way to measure that. And, you know, there's a great validation that comes with this.